How do you do? I'm Lieutenant General Romeo Dallaire. 25 years ago, I was the force commander of the UNAMIR, the UN mission of assistance in Rwanda uh, before, during, and after the genocide. Captain Jiang was from the Senegalese contingent and was a military observer. We entered a not only civil war, but a genocide uh, and in so doing, found ourselves in numerous ethical and moral dilemmas caused by the fact that we did not have a mandate, we did not have the resources to stop the killing, and we were faced one minute after another uh, by having to take decisions of life and death uh, with tens of thousands of Rwandans who were subject to being slaughtered. Military observers had an extraordinary role in attempting uh, to save people, to bring them to safe places, uh, to be able to report where, in fact, people were being abused so that we could uh, not only monitor that, but really uh, that we could report it uh, in order to try to convince the international community uh, of what was going on and that we needed the help. Captain Jiang went farther than being an observer. He was a savior. He was a John the Baptist. He went in and he took people out. He took the children of the slain uh, prime minister. He saved a number of other children uh, of uh, adults at enormous risk to his life. Not any other of my officers proved uh, to be of that level of courage and that's why that medal that exists now the sort of the uh, UN Victoria Cross medal uh, in his name is in fact the most worthy uh, of distinctions of courage and valor uh, in the face of total uncertain circumstances. So the day that we lost him he became a casualty was the day that he was bringing me a message from the rebel forces uh, and particularly from the militias uh, to my headquarters in order to coordinate the movement of people between the lines. And as he stopped at a roadblock, a mortar round fell and killed him instantly. I got the message. It was brought to me afterwards, but it was soaked in blood his blood. The message was important, but the price was horrific. The bravery of that officer, the bravery of his fellow officers from that contingent, the bravery of those who stayed with me throughout that genocide, will never be rewarded enough, nor recognized to the full scale of how many human beings are alive today and have children and maybe even grandchildren where the bulk of those who were targeted, the Tutsi population, were being in the process of totally eliminated from the face of the earth. Captain Jiang is a national hero. He's a UN hero. He's a global hero. He gave to save others, but he gave his life. And ladies and gentlemen, there's no higher price for him nor for his family to pay than to give one's life to protect others. Thank you very much.